I'm here with Ken Parklin, the CEO of Opener and the Black Fly, personal aerial vehicle. I saw this fly last night at the night air show and I have to say, Ken, it was amazing. It was so cool to see something performing out there that the average person is going to be able to get for themselves. Tell me a little bit about where you are in the program and what's, uh, you know, what this aircraft is going to mean as a personal aerial vehicle for so many people. You bet. Well, we're extremely excited uh, with where we are. So, you know, Blackfly has been in development for over eight years. Uh, we've flown out here at Osh multiple times. And uh, now we've entered a new phase of, you know, multiple flights, multiple operators, really building up our durability and reliability. Uh, we've still got some boxes to check. We're going to be flying hot, high and hot later this summer. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, EMC compatibility testing under DO160G. Okay. This is to make sure that if you bring an uh, a, a transmitter on board. Right. There's not going to be any bad outcomes, but really, you know, this is a personal air vehicle uh, that the average person could acquire and then go fly out on their property or their ranch as long as they're in the Class G airspace. Yeah. And really experience the joy of aviation, whether they're a licensed pilot or not. And uh, we're extremely excited with where we are. Uh, we're going to be identifying our early. Uh, access program participants mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the coming months. Uh, we expect that to pick up in the autumn. Oh, really? Uh, delivering so aircraft to a, a selected group of individuals will be the first ones to experience the training, uh, the fitment of the aircraft. Uh, we'll be testing out the delivery of aircraft to their, their ranch or their property for the very first time, make sure they've got charging infrastructure, make sure they've got good connectivity for the aircraft. And then they're going to be out and they're going to be flying that on their own terms. Isn't that great? That's this soon. As, as this fall, you're going to start with that select group of people to get out there. That's right. And we'll do a second phase of that. More participants, a bigger geography. Uh -huh. We'll really be flexing that, uh, that customer support muscle to make sure that everybody is delighted with their black fly, that they're well taken care of. And then sometime after that, we'll be doing a full commercial launch. Mm -hmm. And you know, you'll be able to come on in and uh, we'll take your order. And we will give you date certain when you will get your aircraft. Wow. Well, it, you know, it's it's the Blackfly is such an all-terrain vehicle when you think about it that way. And I've always been amazed at the design, that the idea of, of landing gear, which is always such a weakness of air, in, in aircraft designs, you have to worry about it, damaged and all these other things. You don't have to worry about any of that. You've designed this kind of like general structure that just can land on whatever surface just happens to be there. And I was especially uh, really entranced last night watching it fly because we've seen, you know, hover test before, mm -hmm. but your pilot actually really took this up to altitude, really showed all these different flight regimes, and it shows how much fun it's going to be. It's going to be extremely fun, and that's what all our operators tell us. The first time they fly, they are over the moon uh, with, with the joy of personal flight, and boy, when, you, when it takes off, it really launches you up to the air. I mean, those eight motors have a lot of power to them. Uh -huh. And uh, when they make that transition to forward flight, they're banking and cruising and gliding over the landscape. It's, it's a real exciting thing. 